Hi, I'm Willie Vogt with Farm Progress, and I'm here today in uh, Northern Iowa talking with Jeff Diven about um, crop fertility. And Jeff is with Sound Agriculture, and we're gonna talk about the crop fertility for corn and soybeans and some things that farmers might wanna be considering in 2021, especially with the technology that's available from this company and also some other things going on that Jeff can share with us. And I guess that's the first question. What should we be thinking about for corn and soybean fertility um, from your perspective, Jeff? Yeah, so lots of things come to mind. First off, since we're you know moving through winter, moving into spring, did I apply in the fall what might be left or how did weather affect that application that happened last fall? And it was warmer and the window got extended in a lot of areas. Um, so as we enter spring, just making sure that you know we, we know what's there uh, and then we can make some choices going forward about uh, split applications or additional applications from there. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the issues. I mean, the other thing is weather plays into spring. Um, how uh, we had some pretty wet weather last year in Illinois and Iowa. I mean, what have you seen up here and what, what should farmers be thinking about? Yeah, perfect. Uh, so, you know, we ended pretty dry uh, up here in Northern Iowa last year. Uh, so as we look into uh, spring, you know, making sure um, that we've got conditions uh, that are gonna promote, you know, field work, making sure that we're not getting out there uh, when things are too dry, too wet, and make sure we have some moisture in the soil. So, yeah, as, as I think about uh, 2021, um, we want to make sure that, that we've got the planner ready to you know, get in, into the field when we've got conditions that are, that are right. So one area that's interesting with sound agriculture is you're bringing some new technology. 2021 was your first big year um, and it was corn. Mm -hmm. um, recently you announced soybeans to the program, but let's talk about what sound agriculture is and how it's a different way to look at crop fertility or add to what you're doing with crop fertility. Yeah, so you know when we think about crop fertility, uh, we wanna be as efficient as possible with nutrients when we apply them. So uh, sound and the source product on corn gives us the unique ability to leverage microbes uh, and exist uh, you know biology in the soil so when I think about it um, you know we want to keep as low of a nitrogen balance as we can uh, so that way it's less exposed to you know uh, environmental losses weather concerns things of that nature so using this product to wake up the soil and then pull a little bit of extra nitrogen and phosphorus into uh, our plant and drive up yields so at the end of the day really focusing on not just you know what is my yield but what did it cost me to make that bushel and being as efficient as possible the interesting thing about Sound Agriculture's product, and the product is called Source, is that it's a chemical, but it's actually sparking a biological process. It's not a biological bringing to the product, it's a chemical, right? right. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah, it's a really stable uh, chemistry. So we make a foliar application uh, and then give that plant the ability to signal uh, some of these microbes and activate them. So it's, it's really easy to use from that standpoint. We're not trying to keep anything alive in the jug. Uh, we simply have a chemistry that we can tank mix when we're already making a pass across the field and, and get that activity going. So uh, before we talk a little bit about, uh, well, actually the product is uh, interestingly low use. What is it, 0.7 ounces yeah. an acre? Yep, 7 tenths of an ounce per acre. Uh, 7 yeah. tenths of an ounce. 7 tenths of an, tenths of an ounce. ounce per acre, yep. So we can get a long ways with a gallon, absolutely. What is it, 100 and some acre, 160 some acres a gallon or 180 yeah. some? It's a yeah. huge number yeah. for a gallon. Yep, yep, yeah, just a case of product to be four gallons will cover 732 acres of corn, so. <laughs> well, let's talk about that. Uh, will that uh, what's the timing of this? When would I be putting this on? You, let's talk about corn and then let's talk about the soybean addition. Yeah, for sure. So for corn, we have a really wide application window. So we can go anywhere from V4 to R3. Uh, and we want to focus on two windows. So either be in the tank uh, with our herbicide pass, V4 or V5. Or we can wait till later in the season and go in with a fungicide VTR1 with an aerial or ground application. So focusing on one of those two windows, but we really have the ability to span the entire season. Okay. How does it change with soybeans? What are you thinking about timing for soybeans? Yeah, for the soybean product, uh, so soybeans, you know, we kind of think of them as fixing some of their own nutrients and a little bit of an afterthought for fertility strategy. Uh, but soybeans, we like an application in with our fungicide at the end of the season okay. to really put our foot on the gas at the end of the year. So even though we're fixing nitrogen, for example, uh, we still run a deficit in higher yielding soybeans towards the end of the season. They just can't fix enough to, to keep up with crop demand. So put it on at the end of the season on soybeans, and add some of those additional bushels. Well, and with soybeans, not only are you adding nitrogen, but there's a, a phosphorus availability issue that Sound Ag brings too with Source, right? Absolutely, yeah. So both products, Source corn and Source soybeans, are activating phosphate solubilizing microbes. So when we add you know, phosphorus to the soil, uh, oftentimes it gets tied up 
with you know, calcium, iron, or aluminum. So by activating those microbes, we solubilize that pea and then get it into the plant. So helping to pull that into both corn and soybeans. This is great. So we made nitrogen more available to the corn and a time when it needs it. So we're leaving it, using it by the crop, not leaving it in the field or letting it go somewhere. And then we're solubilizing phosphorus to make it more available to corn and soybeans. That's fascinating. I can learn more apparently at sound.ag. I think yes. that's the website. Yep. Anything else you want to share with farmers? Um, that's going to cover the most of it. So yeah, I just uh, encourage everyone to, you know, be really diligent about nutrients that we're applying on the field, making sure that we're getting them into the plant, getting, uh, getting that uh, carried through. So um, I think that covers it for me. Just wish everyone a safe spring. Thanks very much. We've been talking to Jeff Diven from Sound Agriculture. He's been talking about source, source corn and source soybeans. Soybeans being the newest product for this application in 2021. I'm Willie Vogt with Farm Progress. Thanks for joining me.